this is nice. This this is a uh, uh, of course the well I guess the flagship uh, fossil of the whole Hamilton. Uh, it was called Phacops rana. This was Phacops a name rana. that meant lens lens eyed a uh, frog like lens eyed animal. This is a large, relatively large phacops. By the way, it's no longer called phacops. It's called Eldridge Ops. Eldridge Ops after Niles Eldridge. And if we we'll focus on that eye, and you all see the eye with its many facets, this was the basis of punctuated equilibrium because it was really by counting the number of rows in, of lenses in the eye through large bulk samples of these phacop and trilobites that Niles Eldridge came to the conclusion that they were the same, 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 18, then suddenly 17 files or rows, and then 16 in the tully. There were just these two punctuational steps in the evolution of that fake up. The other big story that Niles would now tell you, he looked at many other characters, several dozen other features of these trilobites, and this was the only thing that he saw changing in the, in the whole Hamilton, which is estimated about four about four million years so that's a big story that's stasis you can see this trilobite by the way it's flipped over the head is here uh, but it's flattened it's undergone a lot of compaction and there is the complete thorax and pedina now it's a largish one which means it's probably come from about midway up that bank because in the sort of um shallow water silty muds this is the place where trilobites seem to flourish to the greatest extent. It's a weird thing about these trilobites, the large ones, because in the facies where they occur, and we'll see the deep run later, where the famous big ones, you don't, you don't find any small ones. Okay, you might say, well, they all grew up, except the trilobites grow by molting. So there should be molt parts. We're suspicious that these underwent migrations during their lifespan, and the older ones were in different facies.